Behind me is Norman's Cafe. Without question, London's most beautiful Instagram breakfast page. It is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Go and check it out. Maybe we can put a little scroll on the screen right yeah. now. But just go and have a look at it. Absolutely stunning. It's a rainy day. I'm feeling hungry. Let's go and find out if the food is as good as their photography. <laughs> the man outside just told me that the bubble and squeak is great. Okay. It depends what you want. A breakfast. It's like a breakfast, right? Do you eat meat? Yeah. Cool. The set one is our, is our sort of like full English. Um, then obviously the set two has the squeak because that's like a vegetarian option. So maybe a set one with the squeak. Set one with the squeak is a good option, yeah. Um, and also the chicken signing is the best thing that I think we have and everyone loves that. So. It's a chicken sandwich so it's like panko, dredge, and oh. feed fried. And then a bit of spicy mayo and it just comes in like white bread. Yeah, it's great. It's like it's one of those things that like fills you up quite good. That's really nice. Uh, yeah, we have some rice pudding. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You guys take a seat. Thanks, bro. Yeah. So it will do. Yeah. Let's get the set one that you said. Set one, yeah. Please. With bubble. And I'll get the the, uh, the chicken. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah. And I'll have the rice pudding jam after. Perfect. And drink these drinks. Maybe So that'll be black coffee for the camera. Um, Daniel. It's going to be a set one bubble and squeak tea, chicken sarni, and a rice pudding bar. Perfect. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Here we are. Cool vibe in here. Cool vibe. Um, it's in here, it actually feels like the Instagram. Very clean, the tables are mm -hmm. pure, unscratched, unmolested. Yeah, yeah. Really nice. Clean, fresh. Got some jazz playing around, as you might be able to hear. Hopefully, usually it doesn't flag this, <laughs> but it yeah. is what it is. Um, Ooh, I've just uh, spotted a little orange can over your shoulder just there. Got three orange cans. But you know the one I'm looking Ladies at. Ladies and gents, welcome to Orange Corner. <laughs> Lucas A. Yep. Iron Brew Fanta. What a trio. Trifecta. What snog marry avoid there? I would. Ooh! That's a tough one. Snog marry avoid. Um. I'm going to avoid Fanta. Yeah. I'm going to snog Iron Brew and I marry Lucas A. Yeah. I like that, yeah. If you're new here, by the way, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. This could be a great spot. I want to show as many people this content as possible. Cool. Now, what are we looking for today? Breakfast caps like this really are the heartbeat of our great nation. I think price point's got to be there. And we've got a set one at £12.50 for breakfast. It's pushing the boat. Secondly, we see a bit of quality. Third, that unspoken fear and vibe of the place, which is key for a breakfast spot. We know this. Um, and so far, this has got it in abundance, but. For sure. I really like it in here. Yeah. Really, really nice. Just need to just change that for some slap sauce and walk the air. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. It was cool, he was. This whole place is a little cool cat. This whole place is really I didn't cool. feel cool enough to talk to him. <laughs> Too cool to talk to. Yeah. Right. Look at that. So that is, that's the breakfast for £12.50. First impressions, looks classy. It does, however, look small. It does also look tasty. Yeah. I'm torn, mate, I'm torn. People in the comments, what are you saying? Let's have it straight. There's some really great caps in London. The famous ones, Polici, the Regency, Terry's Cap, and Norman. There's tons of others, but they're the big four. This is the last one on that list um, that I haven't been to, and they're all very, very different. This looks small, petite, and tasty. I've got crushed, sort of like, it looks like Malden salt on there. What's the way for the rest of it? Let's just crack into it, bro. Um, Where do you start on a breakfast? What's your go-to starting point? Crack the egg. Yeah. Can I have to take a photo? I've got to take a photo. I've got to take a photo. That's it, right? you got it. 
my photo will not be as good as theirs. I was going to say, will that be going on their Instagram? I doubt it. <laughs> right, bro. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Where am I going to start? As you quite rightly asked, the we're cracking the egglet. Look at that deep orange colour. Wow. Go on, little one. Yeah. Run that free. <laughs> Run free. Now these these beans look look homemade. Very nice looking sauce. I'm assuming these are going to be some sort of electric sausage. Cheers, everyone. To good health. Yeah. Strong. Very, very strong. Nice, delicate egg. Yeah, hash brown with the salt on top. Nicely buttered, thick cut bread. Let's try these beans, shall we? Aha, there we go, please. There we go, and the chicken sign in. I've got a question for you, Yeah. The beans, they are outrageous. Yeah. They're, they're, they're homemade, homemade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Secret special recipe. <laughs> Who, I've got to ask, who does the photography here? Uh, it's the chefs, so the two guys that are uh, over the place earlier. Richie, who isn't here at the moment. Um, they both do all the photography and they just manage all the social media. So good. It's, it's incredible. incredible. It's yeah. incredible, yeah. It's a good vibe. It's nice to have that like shot down. Yeah. It's this is the time we do it. This is where we do it. Yeah. Is it? You, We're you, in you the know, spot. That's it. You know, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this is exactly what we do. Yeah. All right, bro. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Enjoy, guys. God bless. Yeah. Thanks for your time. No so, as you might have heard me say, the beans there, star of the show. Yeah. Sensational, man. Like supple. Really rich but smooth, like it's got like it's like moving parts in the sauce. That ain't no Heinz nonsense around here. Good beans for me are the star of the show on a on a breakfast. It's bringing the moisture. Mm -hmm. You're bringing that flavour. You use the toast to mop it all up. That's what breakfast's all about, right? You know what? When this first came out, I thought it might be a bit small. For the money, I was be like, oh, what are people going to say? Hopefully you trust me at this point. It tastes really classy. It's nicely seasoned. I can feel that salt. The beans are just... They're worth coming for just for the beans. I don't know how these sort of places get received. Obviously, a ton of a small portion. Just trust me. Really, really good. Right, the bubble. I absolutely love bubble. Whoops. Making a mess. That could be the best mouthful of breakfast anyone's having in the world right now. Bubble, bubble, bubble. I don't know if people know what bubble is up north. If you don't know, get to know. Looks very creamy. One thing I haven't tried is the house round sauce. <laughs> Bravo. Yeah, this is great. Sweet, tangy, viscous. Oh, how oh, yeah. Thick, powerful. This is the sort of breakfast you walk out from feeling 10 foot tall. Ready to take on that mean 
horrible, unforgiving world out there. But in here, none of that matters. It's time to eat. All right. Curveball on the menu. This is the hot tip, the wild card, the recommendation. Are you ready? Come on then. That's the wild card. No lettuce, no tomato. Surprising. Slice of cheese on that sort of like calf style white bread. soft white bread. Untoasted. No butter. Oh, seasoned. Oh, there you go. Wow. Look at that. It looks good. But just for you, made with our bean sauce, oh. Bloody Mary with olive and Tabasco. With the bean sauce? Is this a, is this freebie? <laughs> indeed, yeah. This, this is what happens when you bring a camera. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> no worries. Give it a go, let's know what you think. Thank you so much. How much would you put a little... Yeah, just a little dab on it. Yeah. Are you a fan of Bloody Marys? No. Are you? Not, not really. Bloody Mary, it's alcohol in it. Yeah. Please. I just got the nod. I got the negative nod. Whoa, 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 whoa. You like? It's an acquired taste for sure. I've only ever had the tomato, the usual, that's not, that's the, that's the, the bean tomato mix with that fiery kick. Look at that. Holy s***, <laughs> bro. Better than you expected? Yeah. That's very good. Good. <laughs> Back to business. Um, yeah. 950 this is. Um, yeah, sorry, there we go. You see the, 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 the salt on top? Yep. That flaky, crystallized sea salt. Come on, man. Wow. Wow. It's like the, the perfect chicken sandwich. Right, really refined, high level, no nonsense, stripped back, home cooked, delicious food. I understand. Simple, effective, high level stuff with no fuss, no unnecessary moving parts, no bullshit stripped back probably to where you want it to be. Norman's cap. Before we get to the conclusion at the end outside, is it worth the hype? Yeah, absolutely. I've got a few bits of content to do today, so I can't eat it all. We'll take it away, maybe you can have some or whatever else, but Hello, I'm looking at those beans over there and I just want to lick the plate clean. They are looking pretty enticing. I want to lick the plate clean. What a spot this is. The signature dish of all these great cafes, they all have a banging dessert option. The polichis, you've got the bread pudding, all sorts of other stuff, the pies, the apple pies, the custard. You've got to finish with a breakfast with a pudding. And on the menu here, we're in big off right in. Rice pudding and jam, seven quid. Okay. Homemade, as per the rest of it, I think. And 
probably the biggest comfort food for me is rice pudding. I haven't had it for ages. I forgot about it. I haven't had it for years, I don't know. At university, bro. <laughs> Rosie rice pudding. Living on it. Mate, come with me on a, a journey back in time. Oh. It almost looks like it's got some pieces going on. All right, here we go. Norman's Cafe Rice Pudding. Oh, man. Is it just taking you back? How does food do that? How does food literally transport you back in time like that? It looks cooked perfectly. Rice pudding is like, like ancient. And with the jam. Oh, so you, you go full mix? Sometimes. Yeah, I just fancied it then. Yeah. Um, wow. Now, let's get serious. I turned up here today. Without the vehicle. A bit cold, sideways rain. Put me a little bit spiky, a little bit in a bit of a mood. I was busy in the other part, should we even film? I love the Regency Cat. I love um, Polici's. Love Terry's. And honestly, standing out front, I wasn't sure if this one, but is this on the same level? Wasn't sure. Even when we're coming in, wasn't sure. Out the plate got delivered. I wasn't sure. The moment I tried the food, I was sure. This is worthy of being in that conversation. Even the top spot, maybe, from a flavour perspective. These guys are very, very smart in how they've done this. It's low-key, simple, effective, great ingredients. Ah, oh, is that the, the half the chicken? No worries, guys. You, this is absolute sensational, by the way. No worries. Seriously, majorly impressive. Thank you very much. Like, thrown away. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for coming. No worries. Um, like I was saying before, from a flavour perspective, this could even be in the top spot. Like, on a refined... You had the beans, right? Incredible. It's probably Comple the best I've ever had. Completely beans, incredible, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely remarkable. You could just come here, have beans on toast, and like a cup of yeah. coffee or tea, yeah. and you're... Yeah. Yeah. Come on, take the beans on toast, hold on. Fiver. Right at the top, beans on toast. Beans on toast, fiver. Yep. Show me a better breakfast. <laughs> I think if I came back, that's what I'd get. Maybe, just, maybe with an egg. Yeah. Right. Beans on toast with an egg, cup of tea, rice pudding after. Oh. You, you're running through brick walls, brick walls, bro. Thank you. No worries. God bless. You are running through brick walls. You ready for the day? That. Yes, mate. Um, I don't know what I scored the others. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to rip it as I'd always do. Sometimes I'm guilty of getting caught up in the moment. This is not one of those days. This is bloody brilliant. I'm really glad I'm sat here right now for you guys. Nine six. Really big score. Norman's Cafe, is it worth the hype? Maybe my new favourite. Thanks for watching everyone. Really enjoyed that one, surprisingly. That's what a good breakfast can do to you. Facts. Here's my bill, 40 quid. 36 pound, plus my service charge, 40 quid. I'll take it. <laughs> Lots of love, hope you guys are doing all right. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed any part of this video, like and share, spread it far and wide, tag someone you think might enjoy this. Breakfast lovers out there, you know what to do. That, ladies and gents, that's a review.